Howdy, it's Matt, and in this episode, potentially one of the best RC models ever made for us as pilots. What am I talking about? We'll get to that in just a moment. A couple of days ago, we had the worst model of the decade, absolutely terrible, and this is what we do to bad models. <laughs> yeah. I actually bought two of those because I thought the first one I screwed up. The second one, I refused to touch it and let Andy fly it. It was absolutely awful. Anyway, let's get ourselves down from that very bad point in history of uh, the worst model of the decade and get ourselves across to one of the best models of the decade. And what am I talking about? The Wing Wing Z84! If you've never owned one of these, you have never lived. That is my humble opinion on the Wing Wing Z84. I think I'm up to owning about six of these so far. They are absolutely brilliant. Now, there's no point me trying to do an unboxing for you because I've already been and built it and I've been out and flown it. You cannot beat the Wing Wing Z84 for $33 is the kit price for these. I'm just gonna sort my camera out a second so I can see myself a little bit better. There we go. Right, the Wing Wing's at 84. Uh, 84 centimeters wide. It took me 20 minutes to build it. That was it. I literally just glued on the wings with some yu pour. You can see the yellow stains down the side. Stuck two servos in it, uh, a motor and an ESC. As far as the build goes, the only, and I mean the only thing which you could potentially screw up upon, and I'll point this out to you, uh, is here for the motor main down at the back. Now do pay, for those of you who should never bought or built a Wing Wings at 84, you need that extra bit of protrusion coming into the middle of the model. Okay, that's the only bit which you could screw up upon. That aside, a Turnigy D2826 uh, 2200kV motor on the back with a 6x4 propeller. I've got a little D4R2 receiver now. I've just put some sellotape just to hold it in place. Uh, you'll notice the 30 amp ESC I've got up in the nose. Uh, and then you stick a 2200 3S pack in there and it will basically fly forever. Uh, absolutely brilliant, brilliant models. And uh, we'll have a quick little nose underneath just some Bang good uh, MG90 Tower Pro servos in the bottom. Uh, one thing which you do need to be aware of, those of you which know about the Wings L84, and then if you do have these little nodules, and there's the lid falling off, uh, and then if here, I'll point them out just here on the camera, you'll notice that I have the pin forwards of the CG mark. Now the reason why I have that is because these are known to be twitchy, okay? If you do not have them nose heavy. Uh, and actually one of my to-do things to do, uh, as soon as possible really, uh, is just to poke a little bit of extra lead up in the nose, cut a hole out, put a little bit of lead in the nose, uh, so that these do run nose, he nose heavy. And the reason being you want to fly them nose heavy is because if, uh, not if, when they tip stall on you, uh, they can be very difficult to recover. In fact, I'm going to cut to a clip. This was me flying FPV, uh, flying along at Eagle Tree Vector. Yes, you can fit an Eagle, tra to Eagle Tree Vector in one of these as well. Uh, anyway, uh, flying along, tip stalled, spiral of doom. I have I have no idea how I managed to save that, I genuinely do not. Uh, and then to top it off, I ended up flying underneath the power lines. Absolutely unreal. Uh, when it goes wrong, it goes wrong. So you can set these up for FPV. Uh, and I, I'm actually going to respond to a note which James picked up in the Facebook group, which is that, well, for $33, nobody can really complain about cost of this kit for their foam and the quality which you get. It is such a a brilliant, fantastic flying wing, like literally one of the best RC models ever created and I've personally ever flown. And that's saying something. Can you think about how many different models which I've had here? Uh, and yeah, I'm here telling you that I'm, I'm on my six. Uh, that will give you an idea on the quality of these. Anyway, here's yeah, my point. James did have one very valid point, which is that uh, the Z84 is perhaps a little bit dated now. It's not really come up to speed for, for those FPV pilots out there. You, you don't have any dedicated slots for a video transmitter or your camera in the nose. Uh, and James, I totally agree with you, but actually I'm going to point out that I've converted several of these across to FPV before. You can cut out a lot of space for maybe a Runcam uh, Swift Micro on the end or one of the other little micro uh, uh, Swift cameras which are out, or in one of the 
smaller run cam cameras or FPV cameras you can fit on the nose very easily uh, because it's EPO foam it's very simple to mould uh, and I've had bonkers fast ones which I've had on four five S batteries and they've been absolute schizo uh, but to be honest the D28, 26, 2200 kV motor with a 6x4 bi-prop is the best prop uh, motor combo which I've come across that's why I've put it in this one uh, and for me the, the, the Wing Wings 84 is one of those models which you it kind of covers all bases as in that you can fly it, uh, and that's how Craig flies his. He basically flies his, he puts it on four knacker and just goes woo, 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 all over the sky. And then you just, that's Craig's flying <laughs> epitomized by four knacker and we'll just fly it continuously. He doesn't do hold off the sticks unless he's landed or the battery's sagged uh, and it, it needs to land now, kind of thing. So you can fly immensely fast. Like I said, I've had four and five S versions here before. Absolutely bonkers. You can also set them up for long range FPV as well. There are video, videos on YouTube of these things flying 54 kilometers and more uh, from a chap over in the Philippines. He sets them up as ultra lightweight and sends them off on autonomous missions. Absolutely crazy potential to them. For me though, the Wing Wings ADC4 is about the windier the day, the better. You know when you go to your flying site and every other model struggling in the wind, that's the time when you get yourself the Z84 out. Because all you need to do is find a tiny bit of lift with the Z84, so maybe on top of a hedge or something like that, or over a tree, get up above the tree and then just make it dance along the top, use the lift. Uh, I've had 45 minutes worth of flight time out of one battery in these. Uh, literally just get it up high and enjoy the journey on the way down. And again, if it's a windy day, oh, it's beautiful because you can just, just snake it backwards and forwards. Use the lift to your advantage. They do fly quite well on a slope as well. Uh, although that said, flat flying field with somewhere where there's some lift, it, it, it's just perfect. So I, I just, I've got so many good memories uh, of flying the Z84 on the terrible days. You know, like the days in which like trying to rain and stuff like that, and it's windy and it's gusty. And the Z84 is a small model. And don't get me wrong, this will turn into a little dot on the flight line. Uh, but that said, just dancing in the wind, absolute brilliant fun. Cannot. It's almost unparalleled for $33. So we've gone from one of the worst models, which we had the Bonanza very recently, to one of the best RC models, especially for line of sight, in my humble opinion, ever made. Now you can pick these up for about $33 off Hobby King. Uh, and like I said, I'm on my six. I cannot give you like a more humble review than that than say that I probably had about six of them there's another one up there on the shelf oh they're just such good fun so if you have owned a Z84 please do me a favor do everybody a favor down in the comments section underneath this video on YouTube do share your opinions of what you think about your Z84 uh, and also if you've never owned a Z84 are you gonna get one why are you not gonna get one I just they're just so good just so good I, I, I could just rave about them all day. So look out for some flight footage on these very shortly. Uh, this is just a quick overview to the Z84, just to let you know that there are some really good models out there. And this Wing Wing Z84 really is one. If you've never owned one, it potentially the best $33 you will ever spend on an RC model. And on that note, for myself, Matt, a big thank you for you for taking the time to watch this episode. And I'll see you again shortly. And on that note, one of the next videos we're going to have out uh, will be some flight time, flight line footage of the Z84. And I'll get some other pilots to share their opinions on the Z84. Because everybody I know, they've owned a Z84 before. Cheerios! Howdy, I'm Matt. I want to say a big thank you to you for taking the time to watch this episode. Every single model and piece of kit which you've seen in this video has been bought by myself for my own abuses so that you know if a product is good, it's good. And if it's bad, well, we kind of blow it up. <laughs> uh, check for help now. Uh, if you're in the live version as well, um, hold on to your seat just in case you're asked goodbye. Get
No, Jesus! Safety first. Safety first. I do have my safety glasses. <laughs> Escape. Whoa! What the f have you done? Whoa! <laughs> Alan Look at that mistake on the Barbie. Alan says, oh, like, it's burning on the outside oh, of it now. Well, Look man. at it. Look at that. It's the wheel of doom. <laughs> Alan says, oh, Matthew, I think you should put that out now. <laughs> <laughs> So with that said, a big thank you to you for taking the time to watch this episode and I'll see you in the next one. If you're new here, don't forget to press the like button and also to hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification so that YouTube lets you know when the next episode is out. So with that said, for myself, Matt, cheerios!